And our friend Jack Mowers, founder and CEO of Strike. Jack, it is always good to see you. How are you? Tyler, Kelly, Happy New Year. Happy oh, New Year. Fantastic, man. Great to be doing? with you. We always have some good banter on this show. It's so, good to see you. It's good to see you. Let's. I, I want to understand something about this uh, payment or remittance system. If I am, uh, let's say, a nurse in Denver and I want to send money back to my sibling in uh, Manila and I use your platform, Strike, do I even know that my money is being transformed into Bitcoin for purposes of the transaction or do I not? Is it so seamless to me that I don't even know? It's an unbelievable question, Tyler. Uh, you don't know. You don't know. Uh, in fact, we're very confident that Bitcoin in a payment setting, uh, no one wants to spend Bitcoin. If you spend it in the United States, you're spending property. You got to tell the IRS about it. There's a lot of volatility incurred. We use Bitcoin similar to how consumers use Visa. When you go buy your latte at Starbucks, did you know exactly that it was routed through certain Visa rails connecting to banks? No, you have dollars on your card and you spent them. And so, no. If you're, I don't know what so, you just said, if you're in Denver and you want to send money across the border, you got dollars, you enter the bank account, you click send. And uh, we just use technology that gets it there much cheaper and much faster. Uh, it happens to use Bitcoin, but that's not, we don't think that that's an important detail for people to know. So you, you mentioned the, the, the next uh, sort of phrase that pays here, and that is cheaper. Uh, transferring money uh, across border can be a friction-filled process, to put it mildly and one where there's a lot of margin. So the question for you is, how do you guys make money on these transactions as you take friction out of the system and as you take margin out of the system? What's your mechanism for, for, for profit? Yeah, so we actually replicate a lot of the same business models, Tyler. Whenever a consumer makes a payment to the Philippines from the United States, we make money. My margins, guys, are so much higher. Think about like what Swift does, what Visa does. I downloaded it from the internet for free. It's free open source software, the ability to physically settle value across the world, which traditionally implies counterparty risk, capital float, intermediaries. There's up to seven intermediaries in Swift. I get all that stuff. It's the equivalent of how, you know, the Netflix blockbuster story is Netflix's only fixed cost, hilariously, was electricity. All they had to do was run their servers. They didn't need physical brick and mortar distribution, any float, any employee count. I got my fixed cost to run the free open source software that does all the, a lot of the hard work for me. So the real disruption in here is the Lightning Network and is the Bitcoin technology under the hood. We think it's important to obfuscate that away from a mainstream consumer that's just trying to get money home as fast and as cheap as possible. But my margins are so much higher. So I can actually be more profitable as a business by charging far cheaper. Does that make sense? Well, and I, uh, my understanding too, Jack, is there's, there's sort of financial intermediaries who are, are making those conversions, maybe trying to bid to bring those spreads down. But we, we don't have a lot of time, so I want to ask you about this as well. Philippines, a couple countries in Africa, one of the big questions people have is why isn't Strike expanding globally more quickly? And after the collapse in crypto over the past year, are you running into headwinds regulatory here in the U.S. where you don't feel comfortable being able to offer this product widely yet? Yeah, so we are. The first part is we're making an, a really aggressive push this year to get out as fast as we can. So for context, we launched in a lot of Western African countries in December, and now we're here in January, Philippines. Uh, we're going to keep going. Uh, so we're getting better. But also, yeah, of course, there's, a, I mean, it's a friction-filled industry. It's a, it's a lot of volatility, a lot of chaos. And so we've had, uh, I, let me put it to you this way, Kelly, if I could be in every country in the world tomorrow, I would. I'd click the button. Right. I can't. And uh, so that's known. Um, but we feel super, super, super confident, super opportunistic. I mean, of all the contagion and all the suffering, uh, we're healthy as ever and we feel good. What so are your prospects we'll here in the way. U.S., do you think? 